Hi, my name is Ken Brett. I'm the Eastern Canadian Sales Manager with Alpine. Uh, we're here at the farm show today showing off some of our products. Yeah, this is our corn demonstration plot and I will emphasize it's only a demonstration plot. We don't take data off this. Alpine G24 is our flagship product. It's been around Ontario for well over 30 years. Uh, we have it in this demo. We went in and picked some random cobs. These are them on the ground in front of me, Andrew. I'm holding the uh, non-treated corn. Uh, it was no starter fertilizer applied to it. You can see fairly small cobs, especially when we put them beside the Alpine G24 treatment. I will add we went in randomly and picked these cobs out. Um, it was fairly consistent throughout the whole treatment and we see this routinely across Ontario. Alpine's done research uh, for well over 30 years on Alpine G24 versus no starter. We have over 500 replicated plots both by independent agronomists and ourselves. We find the yield advantage over no starter to be seven bushels an acre. I'm standing in front of our Alpine G20 demonstration site now. Uh, G20 is a higher potassium product we've had on the market for a few years. Uh, it's been found that if you're into some fields with some lower potassium levels, which is becoming a very common trait uh, across fields as we don't have the manure anymore and, and fertilizer prices have escalated, plus yields have went up as well, so we're pulling more potash out. This is a great fit for those fields where the potash levels are dropping a little bit. Possibly you get under 90 parts per million. Greg Stewart, when he was with OMAFR, did some awesome research at the Allora site on this product in those low K soils and it was tremendous the results he was getting. I'll show again the Czech versus the Alpine G20 cobs. They're, uh, they're definitely a lot bigger. Um, the G20, it's, it's hard to see without them side by side, but they're even a little bigger here than the G24 is. Um, Alpine G20 on this site probably gave us that better response because the potash level on the soil test here is under 100. It's, it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. There's a lot of better fields out there. For our last couple of stops on our corn demonstration here, we have Alpine Microbolt Zinc pre-mixed with our Alpine G20. Our micronutrient lineup are all EDTA micronutrient products that can mix with all our starter fertilizers. We find more and more growers are taking this to the field. As we push for higher yields, micronutrients are becoming much more important. Um, typically, the larger loads we pre-mix at our plant, or also a farmer can get his own uh, zinc, microbolt zinc from us and mix with uh, at his farm according to his field needs on an individual basis. Next to this one, we have an experimental. Uh, we won't get into too much of what they are, but Alpine is constantly testing new products as we move forward, trying to uh, gain some agronomic advantages for our growers. The overall advantage of Alpine seed place starter on your corn is, is quicker and more even emergence. You're putting 100% available phosphate right next to the roots for when it emerges and to get it going. Typically we gain a little bit of maturity. You can see that tasseling time in the fields, the, the Alpine G24 and Alpine G20 fields are a few days ahead of the non-treated and usually better stock strength and, and faster dry down. If you're looking for more information on any of our Alpine corn lineup, your best way to get it is on our website, www.alpinepfl.com. And you can link through that to any of our seven uh, DSMs in Ontario, we cover the province very well. Most of them have their CCA status and are more than willing to get out on your farm and help you grow a better crop. This video is brought to you by farms.com.